All right, like I said in our iOS video, Apple surprised us on a random Wednesday and dropped watchOS, iOS, and iPadOS 26.2 beta 2. And kind of similar to how beta 1 was, this is probably going to be a quick video today. There is not much in this beta that I found. One thing I'm hoping for, and a lot of you guys commented down below on, is battery life. Battery life has been tanking a little quicker than what you would expect from prior betas. So hopefully that will be improved. But jumping right into it, in settings, general, and about, if we go into the details, you can see iPad OS 26.2 is carrying an H build, again, same as iOS this time, and the full build number is 23C5033H. I did have an issue when I was updating to beta one where I actually got the iPad a little warm, not so much this time, that is good to see. And also the download size was a lot smaller this time. Let me pull it up and see exactly what it was from the screenshot for you guys. I believe it was only a little over a gig. Yeah, sure enough. It was literally at 1.38 gigabytes. So that is good to see, nothing huge. Hopefully they fixed either the bug or the actual issues on the back end. And this download just truly isn't that big. Jumping around to Apple intelligence and some of the other settings, you can see everything does seem to look basically how it has for the last couple of betas. There is not too much here yet. We are anticipating some new changes to Apple intelligence, and I will go ahead and turn this on. Specifically in regards to the extensions, it's gonna go ahead and download. I can't pull it up just yet, but chat GPT is going to be covered with Gemini and hopefully some other models in the near future. We have heard that Gemini is gonna be the back end to the new Siri coming next year, and we'll have to see how that operates in the near future. But for now, that's kind of what you can anticipate. Still no changes there. As far as battery health goes, we haven't had a ton of cycle counts on this. We still have 100% max capacity. Even running these betas really just hasn't impacted too much, luckily. And then obviously just kind of jumping around and looking, I don't believe we have much else in, as far as liquid glass goes. Still no slider here. That was one change from beta one that kind of led us to hope we might get something new here. And that was when you actually went to, you can see the little glitch there, when you went to customize your lock screen and change the clock itself, you have this new slider here to make it more liquid glass and translucent or not so much and make it more of a stained glass design. I don't think it looks too bad here on the iPad, but on the iPhone, it definitely does look a little junky and hard to read. So I'm gonna leave it just like that and we'll leave this as done. And everything's working pretty similarly. You can see there's definitely some little glitches going around right now, but unfortunately still nothing else changed with liquid glass just yet in beta two. That design, it looks like it's actually what they're gonna settle on and that's how it's gonna look going forward. Aside from that, let's just go into the stock apps, jump around really quick and see what we can find. Looks like the market had a bad day. Jump into some articles and yeah, it's working smooth as you would anticipate. Not too much else here. Let's see if we have any new splash screen. Let's go to the Translate app because we did have a new splash screen on the iPhone. Yep, we do have that here. You can see conversation views. Choose a side-by-side -side or face-to-face -face conversation views. Auto translate, respond in conversations without tapping the microphone button. And system-wide translation, translate selected text anywhere on your iPad. So. That we have, let's go into the Apple TV app really quick. Still no full redesign here. It looks like it's just gonna be that logo that we've seen now for a couple of weeks. And then let's go ahead and go to the camera. Doesn't look like any new splash screen is present there either. So not gonna drag this one out guys, probably not too much in this beta. Whatever we do find, if it is something significant, we will go ahead and cover in our late week follow-up video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. How are you liking iPad OS 26.2 if it's on your computer? Let me know. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.